Welcome to the Church of Thomas, Hard Time Christians, 12, 24, 10. One of the things that has come to the fore just in the recent couple of years has been the hard economic times. Now, since the ship that sails under the banner called Christmas has basically been commercialization for the last 50 years, this was a hard blow. I think it is time for people to reanalyze why they're celebrating Christmas in the first place. It's not just about giving people presents. It's giving of yourself. And one of the things that God has always encouraged is that you not put money value on things. Because giving of yourself has no value. It's priceless. If we can go back to, you know, as some of us old fogies say, the good old days, we can re-embrace the idea of making things to give to people, to giving time or energy from ourselves, something as simple as a hug or promising to mow some little old lady's front yard may be the biggest gift they've ever gotten in the last 25 years. But if we keep holding on to the idea that the only presents worth giving are the ones that are purchased, then we devalue the whole idea of Christmas. Jesus never asked for any presents, but what he asked for that we give of ourselves. Here's some verses that might help. Gospel of Thomas, verse 96. Jesus said, Heaven is like a woman making bread. She took a little yeast and concealed it with kneading and some dough, and it spread to infect the whole loaf, making it rise immensely. Love is contagious. The second verse is John. 2, 13 through 17. The Passover of the Jews was near, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at the tables. Making a whip of cords, he drove them all out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured out the coins of the money changer and overturned their tables. He told those who were selling the doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my, ha my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written in the, in the uh, Gospels. Zeal for, the ha for your house will consume me. This is the idea of not putting monetary value and the value of things ahead of our practice of loving Jesus and following his example, especially if we're saying that the holiday is representing him. God bless the whole world, no exceptions. Angel Eliza.